منزل ندی یقرد اللہ قردن حسن فیضاف لہو اضافن کثیرہ ہو از دیٹ ہو گیوز لون ٹو اللہ سبحان و تعالی اے گڈلی لون وٹ از اے گڈلی لون وٹ از قرض حسنہ قرض حسنہ ون گیوز سیلف لیسلی ہی ڈزنٹ وانٹ ٹو وانٹ ٹو گیٹ اینی ٹو گیٹ اینی بینیفٹ آؤٹ آف اٹ ہی اونلی وانٹس ٹو فلفل دی ریکوائرمنٹ اے نیڈ آف ہز بردر دس از قرض حسنہ I am giving you this money. You will return to me this money when you can, when it is easy for you, and you just fulfill your requirements and your needs for the time being. This is called the hasan. In the same way, if you give Allah loan, and to give Allah loan, what does it mean? To spend for His deen, not for your own self. You are spending money for the deen of Allah to make it supreme, to establish it, to propagate the message of Allah, to pro- to propagate the. the knowledge and wisdom of quran you are spending your money so this is actually giving allah qarz hasana and for you know providing for the muslim armies to fight against the enemies of allah for the purchase of arms and for, and, and you know the rations etc etc all these things are required to go to war so to to fulfill these requirements if you are spending you are actually giving loan to allah subhanahu wa taala منزل الذي يقلد الله قرضا حسنا who is that who has the courage who is so much believing who has the conviction in Allah and hereafter to that extent that he gives away his money in loan to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala wallahu yaqbidu wa yabsut and it is Allah who decreases or increases the food or the wealth of a person don't fear that if you give give your money away for the cause of Allah your wealth will be decreased no maybe allah subhanahu wa taala increases in your wealth due to this expenditure that you have incurred in the way of allah wallahu yaqbidu wa yabsut it is his authority he does it is his ex- exclusive job he does it either he increases or decreases wa ilayhi turjaun and you will be returned to him finally alam tara ila almalai bin bani israil now this is this the, the narration is of that battle between jalut and talut Again, note please that it happened about 300 years after Moses, alayhi salatu wasalam. If not after his death, at least 300 years after Exodus, after they came from out from Egypt and they came to Sinai Peninsula. 300 years after that, this incident happened. Alam tara ilal malay min bani Israel, and that was the condition as I told you when you know these small states. of of the israelites of these tribes of israel they were you know endangered they were some of them were captured by their enemies many of them were turned out from their houses and their lands and they were in a very bad condition very bad shape after all they said to the nabi to the prophet of the time that now you please nominate for us one military leader one king so that we join our forces under one banner and then you know with strength we can fight our enemies alam tara ila almalai min bani israil min baad musa did you never think about the chiefs chiefs of the tribes of bani israil malai min bani israil min baad musa after moses is qalu li nabiyyin lahum when they said to the prophet their prophet and he was samuel alayhi salatu wasalam samuel you can find the book of samuel in the old testament of aslana malikan now you nominate for us a king and by that king what is meant is the military leader a commander nuqatil fi sabilillah so that we can go to war for the cause of allah qala hal asaytum in kutiba alaykum al qital wa allah tuqatilu the nabi said the prophet said samuel alayhi salatu wasalam said is there any possibility that if the going to war is fighting is prescribed and made obligatory then you refuse to fight is it also possible you are very eager to go to fight but when the fighting comes it's a different affair just as you refused to moses alay salatu wasalam your own you know four fathers they refused to go to war is there any possibility that history may repeat why what was the answer qalu wa ma lana allah nu qatila fi sabilillah they said what is to what to us what's the reason that we will not go to fight for the cause of allah wa qad ukhrijna maqad ukhrijna min diyarina wa abnaina and we have been turned away from our houses and our sons you know maybe 
some of the sons of these people they were taken captive and slaves qad ukhrijna min diyarina wa abnaina falamma kutiba alaihim alqital when fighting was prescribed by allah subhanahu wa ta'ala through the prophet tawalla illa qalila minhum most of them turned their backs except only a few wallahu alim bil zalimin and allah very well knows these evil doers wa qala lahum nabiyyuhum and their nabi their prophet hazrat samuel alaihi salam said to them inna allah qad ba'atha lakum taluta malika allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has raised for you and decided for you talut the name in bible is saul saul talut and talut quran gives this name because he was very tall 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 in arabic tool in arabic legged tool is a uh, legged he was a very tall person talut a very tall person so maybe his real name was saul but this adjective a quality name a sifati naam that has been given by quran and that is talut but ba'sa lakum talut amalika allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has nominated for you talut as king qalu anna yakunu lahu mulk alayna they said where from can he has the kingdom over us can how can he become king over us wa nahnu ahqqu bil mulk minhu we are more rightful we have more right to be king wa lam yutasata min al mal he has not been given you know any wealth he has not been given abundance in wealth qala inna allah astafahu alaykum the nabi the prophet hazrat samuel alaihi salam said it is allah subhanahu wa taala who has chosen him from you out of you it is his choice wa zadahu bastatan fil ilm wal jism and he has given him abundance in knowledge as well as body physical power is abundant with him in his body he was a very strong person bodily and number 2 ilm and and understanding these two things allah subhanahu wa taala has given him in abundance if he has not been given abundant wealth he has been given the abundant, abundant uh, physical qualities and knowledge wallahu yuti mulkahu may yasha and allah gives his kingdom to whomsoever he pleases wallahu wasiul alim and allah is all embracing all knowing wa qala lahum nabiyyuhum inna ayata mulkihi an yatiyakum at-tabut and said to them their prophet that is hazrat samuel alaihi salam also said to them that the sign in the ayat abul kahi the sign of his kingship is an yatiyakum at-tabut that the wooden box the ark the ark you know that is very famous these days it's it's come in news they say that ark you know that sacred ark is is embedded in in the foundations of masjid al-aqsa that is present up till now it's a wooden box in which those those stones you know tablets of stone on which torah is written which was given to moses alaihi salatu wasalam on the mount of tur they are they are in that box then the staff of hazrat musa alaihi salam the asa that is present there some other more you know sacred things in the history of uh, of bani israil they are in that that is tabut us sakina that is called so that actually that was the most sacred thing as sacred to them as is kaaba for us that tabut us sakina was so sacred for bani israil they always kept it with them that box and wherever they went there was you know a, a chariot was reserved for that box for that ark and that ark had been taken away by their enemies now they were very much disappointed because the most sacred thing of theirs was taken away from them and samuel alaihi salam said that the sign of the kingship of talut will be that that ark will come to you again in a miraculous way wa qala lahum nabiyyuhum inna ayata mulkihi an yatiyakum at-tabut fi hi sakinah min rabbikum in that did that tabut in that box in that ark is peace and tranquility for you from your lord wa baqiyatum mimma taraka al musa wa al harun and in that box are the remnants of what was left from by the family of moses and the family of harun alayhi wasallatu wassalam tahmiluhu al malaika that has been carried now by the by the angels 
in the fizalik al ayat al lakum in kuntum mu'minin and in this is a sign for you if you really believe and it so happened as the prophet has said that one day that found that a chariot is coming some bullocks or you, there's no driver and on that you know chariot there was the that ark was placed and that came to them they now believed and they now thought that actually now talut is our king and he has been nominated by allah subhanahu wa taala and the sign that was told to us by our prophet that has been fulfilled now in the next section inshallah we shall have the detail of that war which happened between which was occur which occurred between which was held between jalut whose name is goliath or generally the goliath or goliath and talut that is saul alaihi salatu wasalam in between them the war was fought and from that war or, or battle started the golden history of the former muslim ummah that is bani israil barakallahu li wa lakum fil qur'an al azim wa nafani wa iyyakum bil ayati wa zikri al hakim